Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create viral AI cat videos. I've already made a few videos on this topic, and I'll link them in the description below. But today, we're diving into more advanced techniques to help you monetize your channel and start earning money. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at creating any type of viral AI cat content. So let's get started. Before creating any video, you must have a good story or watch other videos to get ideas for your story. Once you have a story, you can convert it into AI cat image prompts. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. I'm also giving away a limited edition prompt book for free. After reading it, you'll be able to create any type of viral image prompt. The link is in the description, so go and grab it. First, I pasted a two-line story into ChatGPT. A kitten was walking on the beach when a crocodile teased him. The kitten quickly asked his dad for help, and his dad took revenge on the crocodile. You can expand this depending on your video length. At the end of this story, I asked ChatGPT to create image prompts for three scenes. It gave me these prompts, but they might not fully match the image you want to generate. To fix this, we need a reference image. For this, I'm using a reference image. Open a new chat, upload your reference image into ChatGPT, and ask it to describe the image and convert it into an AI image prompt. This way, you can get any image prompt you need. Now, copy this AI-generated prompt. Next, go back to your Story tab. Here, you can create a cat image like the one we just made, but I want to create a crocodile image as the villain in this story. This means the kitten's dad will be the hero, and the crocodile will be the villain. To do this, I gave ChatGPT the command to convert the second scene's crocodile into a shape like this one. Then, I added and pasted the reference image's generated prompt. That's all. Using this method, I generated prompts according to my scene and character requirements. Now let's test these prompt results. First, I used Bing Image Generator, but I didn't get the results I was expecting. Then I used Piclamen, another free AI image generator. Just create a free account and start creating images by clicking the Create button. You can adjust settings like aspect ratio and the number of images. Paste your prompt and click on Generate. This website takes some time, so next I used Flux, the DV version available on Hugging Face. All links are in this video's description. After opening Flux Dev, paste your prompt and adjust settings like image size, seed number, etc. Then click Run. This will generate a few results, and here we go. Flux Dev generated the image I wanted, but the kitten didn't look good in shape. So, I needed a reference. I copied the massive muscular style from an image prompt post. After this, I instructed ChatGPT to change the kitten's shape to match the copied reference prompt. After modifying the prompt, I tested it again on Bing Image Generator, Piclamen, and Flux Dev. This time, I got good results. The first AI cat image was done. Now let's test the other scene prompts. When I tested the first scene prompt on all image generator sites, the results weren't good. So we need help from a reference image. I'm using this cat image as reference prompt data only. Upload the image and ask ChatGPT to change the scene one kitten shape like the provided image. After this, copy the generated prompt, paste it on all sites, and test the results. This time, Bing Image Generator gave me good results, which is why you shouldn't rely on just one image generator. Now, using the previous method, I used the reference image style to generate the last scene image prompt.
Again, Bing gave me good results. Bing Image Generator and FluxDev are the best for these types of images. After generating all these images, it's time to convert the images into a video. For this, I'm using Runway ML. Open the website and create a free account. After creating an account, click on Image to Video. Next, upload your first generated image and in the prompt bar, type what you want in the video. For example, here I need the kitten walking, so I typed that in the prompt bar, then clicked Generate. Repeat this step to generate an image to video on Runway ML. This time, I got good results. Next, download all these images and import them into CapCut. Import all videos and drag them onto the timeline. First, crop them so you can hide the watermark area from the video. You can add sound effects, like in the first scene where the kitten is walking. Find and add that sound. Plus, beach sound effects like water, birds, etc. I added all the sound effects from CapCut, but some sound effects were used from YouTube. Next, I added background music from CapCut. You can also add subtitles and transitions, but this will take more time. My aim was to teach you the basics to advance, so everyone can benefit. I know you can do better video editing than me. So, after adding these, export your video. You already saw the full first version at the start of the video. I hope this video helps you a lot in creating viral AI cat videos with a new style. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to grab your free copy of the prompt book, link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.